But talking of uh, poetry and uh, talking of poetry and uh, getting to the not the, the personal, I think you have a poem here called On a New Year's Eve. Do you read this? Yeah. Which I think is uh, takes it back back to the next uh, next step uh, inward, if you will. Well, it's inward and outward. I exactly. Hope. Well, that's it's dialectics uh, again. Dealing with that. Get, get rid of it. The energy crisis that we have uh, pushed on us last time around. Infinity doesn't interest me, not altogether anymore. I crawl and kneel and grub about. I beg and listen for what can go away as easily as love. Or perish like the children running hard on one-way streets. Infinity doesn't interest me, not anymore. Not even repetition, your, my eyelid, or the colorings of sunrise, or all the sky excitement added up is not enough to satisfy this lusting adulation that I feel for your brown arm before it moves, moves, changes up. The temporary sacred tales ago, first bike ride round the house when you first saw a squat opossum carry babies on her back. A possum up in the persimmon tree, you reeling toward that natural first absurdity with so much wonder, still it shakes your voice. The temporary is the sacred takes me out. Even the stars and even the snow and even the rain do not amount to much unless these things submit to some disturbance, some derangement such as when I yield myself longing to your unmistaken body. And let the powerful lock up the canyon, mountain peaks, the hidden rivers, waterfalls, the deep down minerals, the gold field, coal field, diamond mines close by the whoring ore, hot at the center of the earth, spinning fast as numbers I cannot imagine. Let the world blot, obliterate, remove so-called magnificence, so-called almighty, fathomless, and everlasting treasures, wealth whatever that may be. It is this time that matters. It is this history I care about. The one we make together, awkward, inconsistent as a lame cat on the loose, or quick as kids freed by the bell, or else as strictly once as only life must mean a once upon a time. I have rejected propaganda teaching me about the beautiful, the truly rare. Supposedly, the soft push of the ocean at the hush point of the shore. Supposedly, the soft push of the ocean at the hush point of the shore is beautiful, for instance. But the truly rare can stay out there. I have rejected that abstraction, that enormity, unless I see a dog walk on the beach, a bird sees sand flies, or yourself approach me, laughing out a sound to spoil the pretty picture, make an uncontrolled, heart-beating memory instead. I read the papers preaching on that oil and oxygen, that redwoods and the evergreens, that trees, the waters, and the atmosphere compile a final listing of the world in short supply. But all alive and all the lives persist perpetual in jeopardy, persist as scarce as every one of us, as difficult to find or keep, as irreplaceable, as frail as every one of us. And as I watch your arm, your brown arm just before it moves, I know all things are dear that disappear. All things are dear that disappear.